Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. Money, money, money. money. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to another Cheapskate Coins video. So as you can see, we've got a table full of stuff here. So why do we have a table full of stuff? It's because this video we're going to talk about ways to store your coins. So of course you go through all these these coin rolls and you, you know, hunt down the nice coins, the ones that are in great condition, the ones that have the errors. Well, you need a way to store them all and make sure that they stay safe. So we're going to go over some ways to go ahead and store your coins. So I want to start off first off with the most common way to store them and that's in your 2x2's. They got 2x2's for every size of coin. This one is the quarter, this one's the half dollar. They do have them for the, the large dollars, they have them for the, the newer small dollars, of course the penny, nickel and dime. Now my recommendation on the 2 by 2s just to save yourself money, is go ahead and get the penny ones, uh, use the penny ones for the pennies and the dimes, and then get the quarter ones, use the quarter ones for quarters and nickels, and then go ahead and do the 50 cent ones for the, you know, for your, for your half dollars and your modern dollars, and only worry about getting the large ones if you actually have Ikes or Morgans or Peace Dollars that need to go into holders. Now for the 2x2 two two flips, there's also the vinyl flips. Uh, some people prefer these over these just because these are a bit sturdier. Me personally, for, for actual storing of coins, I prefer these just because the, the cardboard flips, you staple them together, the coin stays put, it doesn't shift around like it can in these so it's just a preference um, now if you ever do send in a coin for for having it attributed for an error or for getting it graded the companies will all require that you have them in these vinyl flips so you know just like this stack here is all well except for the in, in, empty one obviously but all of these are coins that are waiting to be sent out to John Wexler to get attributed for errors so that's your flips and your your two by twos. These are flips. These are two by twos. If you ever go to a coin shop and ask, you got to make sure you say flips two by twos. Another way to store them is obviously in coin rolls if you have enough of one date. But the way that I do it is I buy actual tubes and I mark them for different dates. I just grabbed out some random ones from our collection here. I just mark the actual dates and then the ones that, that look really good, we hang on to and we put them in the tubes. And if you want, once you get a tube filled, then you can put switch it to one of these just to save money so you can reuse your tubes. But we actually, we leave them in the tubes and keep them stored that way just for added protection. Now once you have your, your flips or your vinyl or your 2 by 2s now you're going to want somewhere to put them. So the way I do that, and the way most people do it, is they've got pages that hold your 2 by 2s So you just get yourself some of these pages, you slide your 2 by 2s in them. There you see it. we got some Ike dollars, we've got some uh, old fashioned dollars. Back here we got some Kennedys. We got a section for errors and varieties, quarters. And then all the way in the back is our proof and special release sets. Like right there, uh, the bottom 10 coins is the 225th enhanced set. And then everything else in this section is all proofs. But you just get yourself some pages, get yourself a good notebook to put them in, a binder. Now you want to make sure with the binder that you don't get the one that has this the, the ring portion in the middle. 
because then your pages are going to stick out weird. You want to make sure you've got your cover, the empty section of spine, and then the, the rings are actually on the next section of it. That way it flips up and over and everything lines up right. All right, let me get this out of the way for a minute. And there are various other ways that you can store your coins if you already got them in the two by twos. This is a cheese whiz box. That was my wife being funny, reminding me, of course, that this no longer has cheese in it. So you can you know, stack them in one of these if you got some empty cheese whiz boxes lying around. Now you, of course, can reuse your coin boxes. Always good to recycle, right? So, of course, you know, this is originally a quarter box. But now we've got this. This is one of the boxes we're using for wheats. And then, of course, you, know, you can use a shoe box such as this one to store your two by twos in. Now, if you get something from the the mint, so it's in original mint packaging. You can always just leave it in these and leave them stored in these because, I mean, as long as they're not busted when you get them, that's a pretty good protection for your coins. So, you know, if you get any kind of government packaging, such as any of these, for your mint sets, you can always just choose to leave them in there. And especially with these, uh, these are both from the special mint sets from the 60s. If you're planning on getting these graded, you have to leave them in here because if you send them in to PCGS or NGC, they have to be the ones to take them out of these. Otherwise, your slab will not say SMS on the slab. So to have it attributed as, an, as a special mint set, it has to be taken out by them. So do not open these if you're going to get them graded. And of course, since we're on to the subject of grading companies, when you get them graded... Or if you buy coins are already graded, of course, they're going to come in. This is NGC. This is PCGS. These are the slabs they come in. These slabs are very good. They're very strong. They can get scratches eventually, but for, they are fairly scratch resistant. They are waterproof. So these are very good methods of storing your coins. So again, this is the NGC version. And this is the PCGS version. And then, anytime you send coins into PCGS, it'll come in a blue box that these will stand in. So you can store them in those boxes if you want. Or, there are pages that are made for the binders that are made to actually fit these. So you can actually have them in a binder if you want. There are pages that are made for mint sets. So you can put the mint set cellophane straight into the page. There's pages for everything. So those are some ideas on how to store your coins. So, um, you know, you always want to make sure that you, you just have them stored somewhere where they're not going to get any more environmental damage on them. They're not going to get any more, you know, any more scratches than necessary on them. So that way... Even with the modern coins, you know, say the, you know, it's 2018 now. So say you save a bunch of 2018s and you were the one that thought, I'm going to keep a bunch of these nice. So you decide to put them in the tubes and then you leave them sit there for 20 years or 30 years. Well, there's a very good chance that by, you know, 20 to 30 years from now, we may get into doing away with cash completely. So coins are going to be harder to come by. Well, now you've got all of these coins that are in perfect shape because you properly stored them and you're going to be able to sell them for good money. So you want to make sure that you do good storage for your coins. All right, so I think that about covers storage for coins for right now. Um, there's a big announcement coming up having to do with the 100 sub giveaway. 
uh, beyond what's already been announced. So be sure to keep an eye out for that. Help us get to that 100 sub mark. The quicker we get there, the quicker you guys have a shot at free coins. So help us get there. Tell your friends, your family. Have them come and give us a sub. Uh, if you like our videos, make sure you give them a thumbs up. Throw some comments on there. Show YouTube that you you know you want our our channel around because that that February twentieth day is coming up quickly, and any of the channels that don't meet their new standards, they're going to be getting rid of. So help us to stick around, guys. We really appreciate it. Now make sure you hit our little uh, notification bell so you know when our videos pop up. And until the next video, everybody have a great day.